Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. So today we are doing Giginox. Uh, he is weak to fire and he pretty much do poison. Uh, so I am using the sorry about that the buggy set over here that we kind of made earlier. I know that it does. Uh, Ice attack, of course, but it only does do minus one to fire, so I figured we could use it anyway. And yeah, this is post commentary because I had those shitting white noises in the last videos. I hope that I do not get that here. Uh, Giginox is ugly, he's kind of leech like. He, um, he mainly do poison, so you want to bring antidotes. Yeah, here you can see that I got minus one in fire attack. But uh, I don't think that we can mess it up very much. I do have attack up medium. So, I do not remember. I did this a couple of days back and um, I couldn't get back home until now. So this is the first thing I do. Actually, so uh, goldfish bait. <clears throat> yeah, I think you can actually, yeah, you can actually fish in the first area, and I thought, I think that I kind of thought that I would um, be able to uh, just do that in a in farming. I kind of forgot to remove them. Hmm. So yeah, he do a few different things actually, he kinda climbs in the roof and he can fly, He uh, when he is not enraged his face is the weakest part and when he is enraged it's the tail that's the weakest and you can, you can bri break the tail but you can't uh, cut it off and uh, yeah, it kinda, yeah it looks so Ugly, you will know what I mean when you see it. It's like, oh, no way you're cutting that thing off. Uh, it's hard to see which part actually is the tail. You kind of got to look on the wings and the legs to see what part is the front part and what is the back part. He kind of lays eggs as well. Uh, he lays a poison purple egg that explodes and he also lay one that spawns a shitload of little small leeches uh, you can kind you can kind of hit that uh, kill it pretty fast that egg and then you won't have to face an army of little uh, giginox leeches in uh, monster hunter 3 ultimate, I think that he can kind of lay an egg on his back, he never done that for me, but oh my god, it comes a lot of leeches from those eggs in that game. <clears throat> yeah, that's the Giginox, he is in area, what was it, <clears throat> what area was it? That, that's one of those ugly little son of bitches, they are so annoying. Uh, and this, ooh, I, the design of that doesn't really, I don't really like <coughs> how Giginox looks, I mean, I I did like Kiesu, but uh, this one was kind of, uh, for me personally, I do not like Giginox uh, at high rank, kind of annoying. Yeah, he starts at area 4 the first time you meet him, and then he can kind of be a little bit of everywhere, I think. Hmm. Do move around a bit, and when he is um, uh, when he is wounded, he will kind of, when he limps, he will kind of sound funny. You will hear what, uh, you will hear that sound, and you don't really have to see him because he is in the, uh, the roof. So, you hear if he's wounded, but he can also be limping in area 3. 
and then he will actually be on the ground and limp around. So that's the poison egg that you kind of want to watch out for. He also do a cloud. It's easy to get stuck under him when he do that cloud, so uh, watch out for that. You got yeah, it looks about like almost like that attack that he did there. Here you go, that's the poison cloud. But you kinda want to be away from him and uh, instead like you uh, I don't know, do not be <laughs> do not be close to him when you do that. He also kind of spit like this. At high rank, his poison is a bit more colorful and it hurts like hell. It's like, oh my god, this poison. Yeah, that you also want to watch out for that attack over there. That's when he kind of grab you and he will recover stamina by kind of sucking on you and. Uh, Dung bombs is pretty useful if you do get trapped. You can do the same attack at both front and back. Uh, and the attack I'm talking about is kind of Kiesu like attack where he extends. That, that, that one. That attack. He kind of extends his neck. And that is a fucking sheet mode. We can grab you when you're behind him. It's not the same in uh, Ultimate. Uh, when I faced uh, Giginox in Ultimate, he did, could not grab me as easily. Yeah, now it's the tail. When he turns black, he is enraged, so now it's the tail that, uh, that is weak. You can see that. Grab me. Oh, angry at this. Whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, his wings are pretty vulnerable as well. You can trip him over pretty easily by hitting him, him in the wings. Apart from that, uh, isn't that much to say? He is easy. Uh, that move there. <laughs> I do not like that one. It's so frustrating. But apart from that, uh, the Giginox isn't any problems at all. It's just to keep hitting him. Break his. I don't know if you can break his face. I know you can break the tail. And the wings. You can break the wings as well. I can check for you if you can. You can break its face and its body and its tail. Seems like there are only plus for like breaking the thing. Break everything on it, that's uh, pretty good. And uh, then capture him. That gives the highest chance to get pay extract. That's about it about Giginox. Uh, apart from that, uh, yeah, I kind of did that. Uh, what's his name again? Sidious. Sidious. With the Raytheon set, I finally got there. It's amazing, you got both the Raytheon plate and uh, the Rathalus plate at the same time. Almost. Uh, I did a Raytheon set at uh, in Ultimate. Sorry, I cannot show that it looks a lot better than it do in this game. And uh, then I kind of did the sword, uh, twin dragon, flame, or something like that. And uh, yeah, that was an easy monster to beat. But I don't think I would have been able to beat him without that. Uh, Circle Pad Pro, I know I've been talking a lot about that, but I wouldn't buy the game if I, I didn't have that. It's uh, 
the underwater fights are just that hard without the circle pad. It's like, if you are going to get it for the, for the DS, just don't bother unless you get that thing. I think they should have kind of had two circle pads on the 3DS from the beginning, but they did as the PlayStation did, Sony. At least there are an option to get another one. So yeah, here he is um, tired and he can't spit poison anymore. You can kind of hit him with those bounce bombs. Uh, I'm not sure if there is anything else you should do with him and just bomb him when he is climbing in the roof, which is a little bit dangerous because he can jump down on you and grab you and suck on you. Nasty, nasty leech. So, what else could I talk about today? I am not sure. I want, actually, I want to record more videos right now. Huh? I want to record more, but no, you got white noise. And yeah, my apartment is haunted. I do not really believe in that stuff. But I cannot explain it, I'm sure <clears throat> like the Pope himself would have to come here and exorcise or what it's called this apartment because it's probably not just some old guy who kind of died. It's more like a beast within monster you've seen that cover maybe. Maybe I, I never played that game, but it's probably something like that monster in the, in the cover. So, expert exorcist needed here, but now nah, I kinda had to move a room, and after that I've had no issues. Can I move my bedroom, and uh, yeah, now it's fine. No, I wanna gnaw on that uh, stuff over there, like the furniture, yeah, fine. I can gnaw on that, I do not really care. As long as you do not destroy my collectibles. Hmm. Yeah, I kinda tripped him over here. Oh god, it's so hard. Oh god, you would have bad taste when I'm doing this one. What kind of design of this one? Yeah, I already complain about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of Giginox, I'm sorry, it's not one of my favorite monsters. I would have loved to see the Kiesa again, I really like the Kiesa. I can say I can block that one, I can block the Roars. You can also block the Poison, like there. <laughs> I can block a lot of stuff really cheaply, it's helpful. I think that, uh, I know I've talked a lot about Sword and Shield, about how kind of good it is, and uh, on this one it's pretty good because you can the, the good part about Sword and Shield is that you can gain, um, what is it called, distance, you can kind of jump pretty far, get where you want to be and unleash wrath. Can I go wreck it Ralph in the face or something? Oh my god, oh, that was a poison egg, and yeah, bring antidotes support from that. Nothing special with this monster. It's, it's pretty much the same at high rank. There, are, there also is a baleful Giginox that does electricity. He only lays a uh, kind of exploding electric egg. That's the only one he lays, so. Yeah, you don't have to bother about that really. Not sure, I think it's weak to the water. I am not entirely sure, but I think that is what the baleful Giginox is weak to. It's uh, yellow instead of white, and it turned red. <laughs> it's a little bit like the Kia, so it 
does pretty similar attacks and that's kind of why I feel that this, <coughs> that this monster is uh, like a... The same as the Kiesi, just uglier. So this is limping. <coughs> no, he is limping. And we should be able to capture him. You should never put down a trap in area 3. If he does go to area 3, just wait until he leaves because he never stayed that long that long in that area I kind of fly away <coughs> I'm like through oh my god yeah so now he kind of goes to area 3 and I'm not sure if I kind of waste a trap there or something I don't remember but I I know that they will kind of trick me there and like uh, run away and Ignore the trap, but I just keep coming for more shit. I hope I do not make that mistake. I don't remember. I don't remember. I have purposely forgotten this one. I don't know what's called doing it. Kind of, oh god, I don't want to remember this monster. What is there a gigmox in this game? So yeah, he won't stay here very long at all, and that attack him at us also pretty much there. We kind of broke its face there. Can't you see that? He kind of do that one when he's tired, and that over there to the right. That's an egg. It's spawning in little giginoxes. That way, like. In ultimate, I, I think they grow bigger when uh, the longer they are um, sucking blood or whatever it is from you. So that was limping on ground as well. It seems like we are kind of covering everything in this one. <laughs> I'm not sure if the wings are broken. I have actually not built the Giginox set ever. It might be good. I should do that. I wonder how it looks. So, both traps works on him, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna say I'm not sure if the shock trap works on the baleful giganos since he can I use electric. He will face this guy a lot. To be honest, he will come back a lot at higher rank. And he will come with his body at the same time as well. The baleful. He returns in a lot of like uh, hunt this monster and this and this at the same time. Not the same time, but in a row. Like uh, I think this one is actually harder than the baleful, even though that the baleful is high rank. This at high rank, I think, is much harder because. If you get hit by the poison, it does a shitload of damage. Like, uh, it drains really fast. At low rank, it isn't hard at all. It's just me screwing up as usual when I'm recording and kind of like bashing this uh, in a few minutes uh, normally, but this time it took like 20 minutes or something. Ooh, probably because I normally have the Wraith and Gear. I'm gonna try to get that by the way, but I might record a bunch of stuff first. I think that I will end up with uh, every part but the Tusk pretty fast and then I won't get the plate. I have to do like a hundred Wraithians to get the plate. Uh, I'd rather go to high rank than do that. God, the leeches. So yeah, a buddy kinda <clears throat> did a song for me to... Not a song, but a tune. And I'm gonna use that in this one. I hope that it's as good as I think that it sounds. I'm also going to link his, um, his channel. If you like the song, check in his channel. 
I got a bunch of songs over there. The next time, I don't remember what it is to be honest. I don't remember. <coughs> I am sorry, I'm kind of lost today. Yes, I might have a couple of beers too much. Beers. At my birthday, it was a couple of days back. Like, oh, I'm out of brain cells. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video, I think. Am I doing anything else? No, nope, I don't think I am. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like my videos, please comment, rate and subscribe. See you next time.